Hi, it's Chris from DUND Sounds, and today I'll show you how you can create a 120 bits per minute tempo grid in Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, or DaVinci Resolve. The idea is really simple. Basically, if you want to have 120 bits per minute tempo grid, that means that every beat is half second long. So if we can create a two second long clips and then copy them and paste across your video editing session, then you kind of got your grid <laughs> because when you move your clips left and right, they will snap to the beginning of those clips. If you enable the magnet tool or snapping, you can use this technique to also create a tempo grid for other different tempos. Once we have made the 120 bits per minute tempo grid in your video editing software, I'm going to show you how you can utilize that tempo grid with our sound packs to create your own custom soundtrack. When you're working with 120 beats per minute, two seconds long clip will basically be a full musical bar. For a Final Cut Pro users, go to Titles and Generators over here, then go to Solids and just drag one of those solids into your timeline, and then right click on that solid and click Change Duration. Now type in 200 and hit Enter. Then obviously you can copy and paste this um, solid as many times as you need. In DaVinci Resolve, go to your edit window, then hit effects, and in the generators, we're going to create a solid color. I'm just going to drag it down here, right click on it, and click change clip duration, and we're going to change it to exactly two seconds long. Now just to be clear, that clip could be any clip. It could be just a chunk of your video footage, it could be a chunk of the audio file, or any other kind of clip, as long as it's exactly two seconds long. Then obviously we're going to copy and paste it a number of times. We're going now to do exactly the same thing in the Premiere Pro. So I'm going to navigate to my media pool and create new item. Just hit the little icon down here. In this case, we're going to create a black video. And again, this could be any sort of a clip as long as we can edit the duration of it. So I'm going to use a black video and then right click, change the duration to two seconds. Again, copy and paste it a few times. So depending on how long is your footage or your project, just carry on copying. And what we have now made is a tempo grid. So each one of those pink boxes is now representing a full musical bar. If we wanted to have a, you know, like two musical bars, you could actually make them four seconds long and they'll be, they will look like this. It's up to you. The BPM grid that we have just created allows us few things to do. And I'm saying it's a grid because when you move your clips around, most of the software will actually kind of help you to snap at the beginning of each of those musical bars, right? Because we can do it, we now don't have to zoom in to see where the beats are. We don't have to mark those beats. We can start doing few things. Let me start by showing you how you can perfectly loop that musical phrase. Because it is a rhythm phrase, right? We've got a rhythm going. And when it ends, it naturally fades out. So if we have copied that phrase, it will obviously not loop the way we want it to. So I'm going to solve this to show you. It kind of fades out and then starts again. It's not what we want. So what you would normally do is zoom in to that audio track and kind of search for the perfect place to cut it, you know, and so you can kind of loop. So it flows naturally between those two loops. Because we have now got that little grid here, those clips, we know the end of the bar of the musical bar is here. So what I'm trying to say is trim from the end until it snaps and then move the other clip and let's have a listen perfect loop so you can do it with the next one again if you want it to carry on looping 
this exact phrase, or you can have it finished like this here. What we can also do is to introduce other rhythm sections. Let's say we liked this one. I don't even know what it sounds like, but let's drag it underneath. If we want it to start kind of midway through, okay, after eight bars of the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here, okay. We know it is now perfectly matched in terms of tempo. So when we when we play those two together, right? It works perfectly. What about this orchestral rhythm? See what I mean? If we didn't have that BPM grid, let's delete it for a second, and you were kind of zoomed out and you just placed it randomly. Oh, okay, it's snapping over here. So let's say no snapping, right? And you just placed it. It's not in tempo together, okay? But now you have the freedom of moving this left and right, and you're almost guaranteed that those two will work together. Now we don't suggest to layer same phrases from the same folder because this is not how the packs were designed. Um, however, you can get away of actually layering them together as long as you carefully listen and don't create a mess because if you stacked all of those like together it wouldn't obviously make sense, right? So what you probably want to do is have the first medium rhythm kind of fading out while the second one is being introduced. Uh, so for that you would simply keyframe the volume. So let's have it at zero to be here and then minus infinity and go to the one that's been introduced, keyframe at zero to be, no, sorry, minus infinity and have the zero to be at the point where the first one is has died out already. So like this. Now the rhythm is perfectly matched. And one phrase is kind of becoming the second phrase. What about if we liked another orchestral rhythm? Of the first one sort of dying out and now the new orchestral rhythm it will be correct musically because it will start at the beginning of the new musical bar so it all sounds like one big musical piece which is what we want if you look carefully at the naming of the files whenever it says rhythm in the file name it means that um, it's been created to the click so uh, you can layer and again this is coming from the same folder so you're risking having a bit of a mess but let's try it it works perfectly in this case if it didn't because we don't suggest layering uh, files from the same folder you can um, you can have them running one after the other, or you can introduce them with the keyframing, sort of fading in while the other one's fading out while both staying in tempo in sync. But what we can also do is now go to the top folder and most of those phrases will be tempo free, uh, meaning that you can just drop them anywhere. and it will work, but you can also have them placed at the beginning of a musical bar. So it will sound more like a real musical piece. So let's go back up to the top folder. So if you carry on going through the phrases, and obviously if it's tempo free, then you can have it placed as you like. But if you go to a, like, let's say full orchestra, um, then when you place it, you will realize if you solo it, this one, it's got like a definite rhythm going. So again, you can move it left 
and write as you like as long as you snap to one of those ping boxes and then so it's in sync so again you can move this one left and right and as long as you snap to the beginning of one of those boxes both phrases will stay in sync Because we're going that dramatic mood already, let's play a bit. Let's go to the bonus folder and in the tension folder, you'll find attention builders. If you go to your tension folder and for some reason it's empty, that's because in the early version of this pack, I have misplaced those files and they, they are sitting in your mid folder. So in this one, just simply move them to bonus um, and then to the tension. Okay, just let's have it, I don't know, randomly this one and it looks like it kind of ends there so i'm going to move it and again it's snapped here so it will fit in tempo as well what about this one this, this one's got rhythm so that's what we want today more rhythm So it ends there, there we go. So that's nice, but let's go to the bonus folder one more time and we've got some tunnel one shots and lifters and epic textures. All those are very useful and can be layered with previous audio files. So how about percussion? Let's go hybrid drums, five, why not? Again. Let's have them introduced about halfway through, snap it to the beginning of the bar. This is what they sound like on their own. So that works, but they're kind of a little too bassy. I think we need something more like Tycho, because that will break through the mix a little bit more. So snap it. We are creating like a build up. So for that, for the extra dramatic feel, let's have keyframe for zero dB at the very end and minus infinity at the beginning so it kind of builds up and then if we go to a bonus folder yet again we got some tunnel one shots well, let's try it so if we zoom in just a tiny bit we now know that it all kind of finishes at the beginning of this bar. So I'm going to drop that one tunnel shot here. Not here, not there, just here. So that works. And again, because all the widescreen packs can work together, you can have the top phrases from the widescreen cinematic being placed on the top um, epic and widescreen horror phrases. And if you have the events pack, I highly recommend using this technique with the events pack as well. I hope this tutorial helps, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or contact me directly, and I'll see you soon.